Hello viewers, welcome to our introductory part of uh, AutoCAD Sable 3D. AutoCAD Sable 3D is used mainly for road network design, rail networks, pipe networks, and survey. So first of all, I'll want to take you through the interface of uh, Sable 3D. So this is our screen for Sable 3D. When you open Sable 3D, this is what appears on the screen. So to have a quick start with the, the, the interface, I'm going to show you how this, usually we have the model, and then we also have tabs here. So in the home tab, we have, we start with the palettes. The palettes are just tools used to design a road network system in Civil 3D. It can be a road network system, rail network system, also pipe network system. So under home, we start with the palettes. These are various palettes. We have the tool space. On the left side, you can see we have the tool space here. The tool space is what now contains all the components and all the tools used for designing a road network system. So in the tool space, you can see we have got points. We have point groups, surfaces, alignments, sites, creating of sites, catchments, pipe network system, bridges, corridors, assemblies, and also doing survey. They're quite a number. So you can just scroll and see what uh, they're in the tool space. So those are the palettes. So we have got a variety of palettes here. So on the same tool space, we'll find we have the prospector tab, which we start when you click here, you find that the prospector tab. You can see it's opening. It's a tab alongside the tool space. We have the settings tab. It's also here. When you click, that means it's off. When you put it on, it becomes active and then it becomes there. So in the settings also, we do our settings for all the tools used for designing a road network system or a rail network system or a bridge or uh, doing survey. So these are tools which are very important. So when you open Civil 3D and you don't find the tool space alongside on the left side of the screen, that means it is off. So when I put it, I can put it off. When I come to click, it becomes on. So same again, on the under home tab, we've got also creating of ground data. Yeah, how do we create ground data? Mm -hmm. Ground data, we have points which should be gotten from the surveyor. So the, fair, the surveyor must give you points, and then now we create services based on the points that we have gotten from the surveyor. Remember the surveyor can give you points in, in various formats. We have like text format or notepad, or the surveyor can use Excel or uh, it, uh, it can use land XML, or uh, data from the GeoMaps, or ArcGIS. So whenever you are importing points, you have to specify the type of format that you want to import your data from. So after creating the survey data, we have, under home tab, we have what we call now creating ground data, creating design. Because now we have our ground data, we have our parcel of land imported. Now we can go, go to how to create design. So under design, we have uh, uh, parcels. Let me just uh, expand this. We have parcels, how we can create a parcel, how we can do grading, how we can create corridors and having profile views and also alignments. So you must start with the ground data, then you go to design. From the design, now we come to creation, creation of profile views and sectional views. Yeah. So that's it under home, home tab. So most of these ones, we'll be looking at them one by one as we continue with our, our practical lessons in Civil 3D. Now the rest here, these are just AutoCAD, usual AutoCAD tools, which, which you can also use when asked to do, to do so. Also on the insert, we've got how you can insert various uh, points. So under insert, we have importing of points. As I've said, you can import points using land desktop, land XML, uh, points from file. So when you click, you, pull, you fo just follow the prompts or land XML. You pick the, la the, the format. We have also storm sewers or import survey data. You can also import a survey data or import sub-assemblies. So we will be looking at all that. Though also under insert, we have also InfraWorks. We also have ArcGIS. So these are various ways of now you can import points or inserting of points to our Civil 3D. Yeah. Then from here, these are just usual. AutoCAD tools, which we we'll also we are, we are going to use when asked to do so. 
Then we have annotate, how you can do documentation and annotation of your project, like text, dimensions, center lines, and all that. These ones are also common in AutoCAD. Then another, we've got modify, how you can do some modifications. You can see we have, you can modify alignment profiles. So we'll be looking at all this ground data design, how you can modify that, and also how now we can have these other lines in AutoCAD to assist us come up with a stable 3D network design. So another important tab which we also have is called the Analyze tab, where you can do your analysis. Mm? How you can do your analysis, you can like driving through your road network, you see how it goes, where the steep is, where the hill are, and where your road network looks like. And then you also have computing of materials, like volumes and materials, like cut and fill, earthworks, material list to be used, and then producing a report based on the design that you have used there. Then you also have quantity takeoff, how you can produce a quantity takeoff or QTO, we produced in that report. So those are the main important tabs used here in Civil 3D. Another Civil 3D tab is called the survey, how you can do a survey once you have your data from the surveyor. Then you also have rail network system. Here, when you're doing, when you're dealing with the rail network system, mm. so Civil 3D has got all these tools for doing a rail network system. By, by for designing railways, so when you can see, we have alignment for railways. We have rail lines. We have platform. So this is for rail network system. Then you also got uh, this is transparency. Yeah. So you have to go to survey output. So these are some of the tabs that you should know you know which tab is used for what. Yeah. So once you've done that, remember AutoCAD and Civil 3D has everything, each and every tool, each or each and every p component that we insert already has been grouped into its own layer. So you'll find when you come to Civil 3D, the layers already has been created automatically by the software. So whether, whether you pick on a line, it assigns its, its test for layer automatically. But there are some times where you need to add more mm, custom-made tools so you can create a layer for that particular tool that you are going to use. So then on the left, on the right side, we've got the modifying tools here. Mm. So we'll be looking at all these and see how now we can do modifications on the right. So viewers, that's just the introduction part taking you through the interface of, uh, of our Civil 3D, so at least you know which tool is found where, how to activate a particular tool in Civil 3D. Thank you so much, viewers, and let's meet in a few minutes for the next lesson on how now we can create ground data. Thank you.